The other thing too is sometimes boards already have graphics on the top sheet. Um, sometimes you want to expose them. If um, I know like a lot of the Powell boards, we used to leave out a circle in the grip. So you would want to strategically place that as well. Um, on our boards, we do a bit of a cutout here. Um, and you can show the different logos through here by using the edge of the grip here on this side and the edge of the grip from the other side to match up to either side here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you an example and apply that example to a skateboard. So real quick, um, the other thing I really recommend is brand new razor blades, X-Acto knives, or uh, cheap scissors. Um, I like the, uh, the razor blade, um, get a nice grip on it. And um, what you want to do is pull towards you to get a better cut. And we're just going to go ahead here and you don't have to be exact with these crazy lines. What you want to be is consistent with the pull of the razor blade that you have a clean cut. And always go back over. Don't try to pull it apart. You can just gently cut into where it just, there you go, perfect. Now what you have here is a bit of a wave, but you would have the wood in between here. Um, let me, before we apply this to a board, let me real quick uh, show another example so that we can all have them on the same board and show the different options of grip here. So on the other side here, um, instead of a, the squiggle line, um, we can go with more of a, a jagged look. And like I said, you don't need to follow these lines if it's um, kind of uh, a loose look you're going for. Um, if you are doing a detailed image, of course, need to follow the lines, but here we're just what we would call freestyle in it. And there's the, say like mountains to, to ocean. Let's see how this looks on the grip. I'll show you guys how to apply it to a board. There we go. And just go ahead and unpeel. This is going to go to the back of the board, to the tail. And then go ahead and what we want to do is just line up this and as much space as you want to leave for the wood to show, you can pull it apart further. You can leave more space, make it super tight. However you want to make the look, let's go ahead and peel this apart. That off the side and boom. Left about a quarter of an inch gap going across. Show a little of the wood off. And then the same thing with this piece here. It's just gonna go in here and you have your cutout grip custom job.